Hey friends, today I am at Epcot and I am in an extra good mood because it is my first Disney media event. How cool is that? Disney actually invited me out to come check out Food and Wine, a part of their family media day, hashtag Taste Epcot, and I gladly accept it. So, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite food to eat during Food and Wine Festival. Let's go do this. My first has to be Islands of the Caribbean because if you're walking into World Showcase, it's probably the first thing you smell because of the smokers and it is amazing. They are just grilling up that jerk spice chicken. Wow. And that's exactly what we're getting, the jerk spice chicken. Look at that. Honestly, it just smells so phenomenal over here. Another amazing thing about this spot is they actually have tables and chairs where you can sit down and eat your food instead of banging on top of a trash can. And look at that chicken. Wow, I love the grill marks on it. Oh wow, this looks so good. I cannot wait to try it. I can't wait to try the plantains and the guava yogurt right here. And the smell from the smokers over there just makes it 10 times better. All right, here it goes. Okay. That's good. Very good. You can really taste the smoke on there. And I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of plantains, but this was amazing. Actually, the mixture of the yogurt, the peppers, and the onions, wow. And the smokiness. The chicken was great, but we need to move on. There's a lot more food and wine. And I noticed today, the lines seem a little bit longer, and that may be because Illuminations is ending in two days. Two more days left, two more shows. How sad is that? It's Emily's birthday! Oh! I was gonna say, people are really lining up for their mimosas. <laughs> Our next festival foodie spot is somewhere that I like to eat quite often. I actually get it almost every time that I'm here at Food & Wine because it's so delicious. It's gotta be the roasted lamb chop at Australia. Yum. Can I get a lamb chop, please? I got my lamb chop, but it looks like it's standing room only. Oh, and I see a little trash can. Look at this. Amazing. Wow. Always a go-to favorite of mine. Mmm. That puree right here, oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the TP. Total package. That lamb chop hit the spot. So much meat on the bone, very delicious. Well worth the seven bucks. Well, that's kind of nifty. Goofy is just leading a parade over to France. That is awesome. Goofy is the man. Look at that strut. Or should I say, Goofy is the dog. I still get really giddy whenever I see a character that's meeting or walking around an area that they're not supposed to. Like, it's so awesome. I'm like, ooh, there's Goofy. Wow, what a surprise. First Goofy, and now a character I've never met before. Hello, what an honor. Wow. I love your hat. Oh, thank you. Like Peter Pan's. Really? Yes, all you need is a little feather in your hair, a little bit of pixie dust, and you can fly away to Neverland. Wow, this is fantastic. You are amazing. I've always wanted to meet Wendy. Oh, well, it is so lovely to see you. Oh, can we take a picture? Well, yeah, of course. All right. That is so awesome. I have never met Wendy before, and Goofy is just doing his thing over here. How cool is that? What a great day. So I kind of feel like since I'm showing you guys all my favorite things I usually eat, maybe I'll try something I've never had before and see if that may be one of my new favorite things. I've never had anything from the Brazil stand, so we're going to take a look to see what they got on the menu. Oh, and I think I might want to try the crispy pork belly. 
I've never had pork belly and I hear it's really good. So we're gonna give it a shot, I think. There it is, my first pork belly. Not only my first time eating something from the Brazil Pavilion, but I've never had pork belly before. So I'm excited, but I'm scared. This is it, my first real-time reaction. Let's see how this goes. I like it a lot. Wow. And the little beans that it come with, pretty delicious. And definitely honorable mention is if they had frushi, it would be on the list for me today. But no frushi, no frushi for me, no frushi for you. Everybody stop, duck crossing. All right. You'll make it there, little buddy. Up, up. Yep. Come on. You got this. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Nope, don't stop. Keep going. Very good. Thank you. Let's keep the eating going and they get something that I actually like to get regularly. Go back to what I normally get. And that is the chicken in Italy. So excited. This is definitely one of my favorite things to get here. I really like Italian food, but I think a bigger question is what are in these doors here? Oh! Look at those babies. Wow. Oh, I cannot wait for the first bite. Get a little marinara sauce, dip it in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, yes. Coming in. Mm-hmm. Perfect texture. Fantastic. Don't you even think about it. You keep walking. They really know what they're doing with that chicken. It is phenomenal. And we're gonna keep moving along. There's a photo pass over here that I wanted to stop and get some photos taken because it looks pretty fancy. Right here at this wishing well. Very fancy. Great Gatsby's. So it had lots of different food items, but I think I'm gonna have to get something sweet, like a dessert or something. I'm starting to get the meat sweats. And China is not where I'm getting it from. Holy moly, look at that line. They love it. They love the food here. Crazy though. I take back what I said about China because the Alps, that is a line. And I'm pretty sure it's going all the way back to Mexico. <laughs> wow the line is so far back you can't even see the booth I mean holy moly and since it's starting to get very crowded and overwhelming in World Showcase I'm gonna head over to the Coast Elites area and see if it's less crowded over there it's like a little plan maybe hey <laughs> and yes it looks a lot more relaxed over here so let's get some chocolate and we're getting the liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle. Wow, that's a mouthful. Liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle. We're getting the liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle. I like it. <laughs> Look at that fanciness. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very nice. And oh, she drops it in there. This is a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> yep. We made a song about this already. So it's pretty good. Wow. Have a great day. Wow, look at that. I love it. Oh, you're gonna smash it? Yeah. Oh no, we don't smash it? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh, but, oh, but eventually we smash it. Yeah, eventually. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. That's awesome. Great guys. That's what I'm One raspberry? You 
very fancy. And thank you. Well, that was just really, really cool, wasn't it? And check this out. I love it. That's awesome. The whole process is awesome. We got to try it. Liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle monorail. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's very good. I cannot wait. Oh boy, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Very good. Very good on a hot day like today. I'm sweating profusely. It is hot. And this really does the trick. The almond truffle is probably my favorite part. That is really good stuff mixed with the chocolate. So initially, I faced the camera towards me so I can see if I have any chocolate on my face because I forgot to grab napkins, but there's a glare on the screen from the sun so I can't tell and uh, I could be having chocolate all over my face right now. But it's all good. If I had chocolate on my face, it doesn't matter. It tasted good. And with that, I think I am done with the vlog for today. I had a lot of fun today, honestly. Very cool. Disney, media. I'm very honored. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have fun here for the rest of the day myself. Get out of the heat for a little bit. And probably let things settle because I eat a lot of food. I think I eat at five stands, six stands. They were all delicious, but that does a toll on the body. So... Love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.